English Mastery, Respecting Differing Preferences. Hello there, welcome back to our English learning journey. Today, we're diving into the world of expressing respect for differing preferences. When it comes to having a conversation, it's common to encounter people with different likes and dislikes. It's essential to respond in a respectful and understanding way to foster better relationships and more fruitful conversations. Respecting contrasting preferences is our focus today. Let's get started. When we converse, we often share our likes and dislikes. It's natural for people to have different opinions, and that's the beauty of conversation. When we come across differing preferences, it's crucial to express respect. This can foster a more comfortable and open conversation. Let's look at some simple phrases you can use to show respect for differing preferences. 1. That's interesting, I've never thought about it that way. 2. Oh, I see, that's a unique perspective. 3. I respect your point of view. 4. We might not agree, but I value your opinion. By using these phrases, you are creating a safe and respectful environment for sharing different thoughts and ideas. To get the hang of it, let's create a few situations and practice responding to contrasting preferences. Situation 1. Your friend loves to watch horror movies, but you don't enjoy them. Response. That's interesting. I've never been much of a horror movie fan, but I can see why you like them. Situation 2. Your colleague enjoys spicy food, but you can't handle the heat. Response. Oh, I see. That's a unique perspective. I find spicy food too hot for me, but I'm glad you enjoy it. By practicing these responses, you can become more comfortable and natural in expressing respect for differing preferences. Listening is as crucial as speaking when it comes to conversation. When someone shares their preference, listen attentively. Respond by acknowledging their viewpoint and then share your preference, if you wish. Remember, differing preferences can make conversations more exciting. For example, if someone says, I absolutely love camping, even though you don't, you can respond, I respect your point of view. I'm more of a hotel person myself, but I can see why you love being close to nature. That's a wrap for today's lesson on respecting differing preferences. Remember, diversity in thoughts and preferences is what makes conversations rich and enlightening. So, the next time you encounter a contrasting preference, embrace it and respond with respect. Hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.